So what we'll tie in first is we'll tie in the uh, the antron sheath. So what we need is two pieces of antron. Do you have any antron? No? Okay. We'll pass this antron around and take two pieces uh, about that long. Okay? Doesn't matter whether it has the fold in it or not. Two pieces about that long. And then what we're going to do with those is we're going to tie in one on the top of the shank and we're going to tie in one on the bottom of the shank. So first of all, let's get the wraps back to where we're going to tie them in. Pinch wrap, remember? Pinch wrap and down. Pinch wrap, down. So we've got one right on the top. And then there's any number of ways you can tie it in on the bottom. One of which is simply to stick it underneath, like so, and tie it up onto it. So there's one on the top, one on the bottom. Oops, try and get my fingers out of the way for that. Okay. Once you've got those two tied in, we'll pause for a second. Trim some of the garbage off. I think you think it's better for you to pause. Yeah, I think them there. Off. Bernie was thinking you should. Should I just keep going, Bernie? Keep going. <laughs> okay. Okay. So when we're here, then now we need to separate out some of this antron, because. Antron has got is, has been woven a little bit together, not much, but it's woven a little bit. So we do need to separate that out and get some of these knots in it, just like your hair some mornings. Get your bodkin in there and get a few of those knots out. And then once you've got a few of those knots out of there, then we can use our brushes, yeah. Yeah. like this kind of brush no. here. Okay. No, we don't have any hooks. One of these kinds of brushes or whatever you've got to brush out your antron. You don't have hooks? Yeah, we do. Oh. Okay, we want to brush that all out, try and get that to be a little bit wider. The object being now, we're going to spread out this antron, top and bottom. Okay. So we've got some of that spread out now. We've got some of this spread out now. Now let's tie in our body. Now, I recommend it this Arizona diamond braid for a reason. And that is that it's, yeah. it's really good stuff for creating these bodies, but you don't just tie it on like this. I suppose you could, but I find it doesn't give quite enough sparkle. So what we do instead is we take about an inch of the Arizona diamond braid, which is coming around now, maybe an inch and a half, and then we're going to cut this into 16th inch long pieces and leave it in your little dish that you've got or whatever you've got there. So that we're just going to cut this into very fine little pieces because we're going to dub it back on again. Now, if this was a cooking show, I'd have already had this done. So that I could just reach in the oven and take it out. So you will likely need wax. Okay. You only end up with a little bit. You really don't need any more than that. I find it easier to dub this uh, using a dubbing loop as opposed to trying to twist it on because it's a, it's kind of like a fine wire, and fine you sparkle stuff. It's very coarse. Uh, it uh, it will stick to wax, but it, when you try to to turn it on, it'll sometimes just keep spinning off, and you'll get a great big body. Uh, we're going to trim the body down anyway when we're done in a second. So we'll make a dubbing loop. And uh, then you can run, go ahead and run your thread up to the eye. And if you like, uh, when it's there like that, you can put your half hitch into it. Put a couple of them in so it stays. And uh, then I like to put a little wax on mine just because it doesn't stick all that well. Get that antron out of the way. Put just a little bit of dubbing wax on there. And we'll... Where's my dubbing twister? My dubbing twister. Quite an expensive dubbing here? twister. Mm -hmm. And then I usually just dub a little of this on up in my loop like so. Well, 
lost a bunch when I let it go, didn't I? In fact, I lost most of it when I let it go. So we've got a body now of sorts. Quite a little bit. I'm just going to twist a little bit more onto the outside here because I don't have quite enough on there. So I'll make my body. Don't be too particular about the shape of the body. It's not going to be completely visible through the sheath. So don't get overly so concerned you about it. Putting that on before you do anything. With the There's my body up to there. I'll tie so. that off. 